What's going on, Giants fans? I want to know, what is more important in your opinion? If you think it's the head coach, type HC, or if you think it's the general manager, type GM. What's going on, guys? You are watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we got to take a deep dive into the latest rumors surrounding the New York Giants. One's about Jim Harbaugh and Sean Payton. So let's get into it. Sean Payton, is he wanting out of being the New Orleans Saints head coach? Today, 16 years ago, it was when he was first hired. And now there are rumors coming out that he may be interested in looking elsewhere for his job. Jane Slater, she was on the Cowboys report earlier today. She works for NFL Network, also here at Chat Sports on our Cowboys channel. And she talked about Sean Payton. I wanted to hear what you I wanted you guys to hear what she had to say. Jerry's had a love affair with Sean for a long time. He's deferred to, to Sean at times about his thoughts uh, on this team. And there is a possibility that Sean could get out of his deal. But I think Sean is going to be highly coveted this offseason by teams like the Raiders, the Seahawks, the Bears, the Giants. Giants, of course, where he uh, started his career. So he's got a great relationship with them. It's a big market. And then there's a lot of talk about media. Does Amazon make a play for them as they're trying to build this dream team? So He's got a lot of options. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens with Sean. It's just, it, it's like death and taxes. We talk <laughs> about there. Sean every time there's a question about this coaching search. Appreciate you, Jane. I wanted you guys to hear about that because I think it's important. Jane is very well connected. And when she says something, I think we all need to listen. And I would be very interested if Sean Payton wanted to be the next New York Giants head coach. Nothing is, you know, in stone or cement or anything is going to for sure happen. But the thing that there's rumors around this popping up, I think that's really important. And remember, Sean Payton would have to agree to a buyout of his contract if the Giants wanted to sign him as the next head coach. But if he couldn't come to agreement with the Saints, they would have to trade for him. I think the Saints would want at least a first round pick. But let's say Sean Payton gets bought out and becomes a free agent on the head coaching market. Let me know. Get your votes in. Do you want the Giants to hire Sean Payton? If you do and you think this guy would be the right job, the right guy for the job to fill in as the current Joe Judge replacement, type Y for yes. If not, type N for no. And if something happens soon around the Giants head coach vacancy or when they hire a general manager, we will be breaking it down on this channel, youtube.com slash TV. We're trying to get to five thousand subscribers by the time the Giants hire a GM and we can't do so if all of you don't go down right now and hit that big red button we've gained over 1.2 thousand subscribers over the past 28 days and that's a credit to all of you I want to thank you tremendously for that so if you're looking for a Giants channel that does nothing but cover the latest news and rumors this is your one-stop shop go down and hit that big red button we have some new Jim Harbaugh rumors to get to, some from some chat sports sources and some from former teammates of Jim Harbaugh and current New York Giants players, that being Jumbo Elliott. Yeah, does that ring a bell for you? If you're older than the age of 40, you probably remember who Jumbo Elliott is. He had this to say, little birdie says Coach Harbaugh is eyeing the Raiders and the Giants. I think that's important because Jumbo's not a guy that just goes on Twitter and likes to report BS or really report anything at all. So I think this is very interesting to say. And then Jordan Renan, he quote tweeted that and added this. Definitely something to monitor depending on the GM and ditto for Brian Flores. A little bit more background on Jumbo. He was a four-year teammate of Jim Harbaugh at Michigan from 1983 to 1986. He was a two-time All-American, a 14-year NFL player, and he was drafted in the second round by the Giants in 1988 and played eight seasons for the G-Men. And I think this is important. Jumbo's not one of those guys that's just a hot take guy on Twitter. And he also replied to someone's tweet on Twitter asking, does the general manager matter, whoever the Giants hire? Jumbo said it absolutely does. The GM will matter if they want to hire or if Jim Harbaugh has interest in the New York Giants. More rumors about Jim Harbaugh. A chat sports source hit us up, and he said Harbaugh is eyeing the New York Giants and the Las Vegas Raiders. This was the full quote that was sent to the chat sports source team. He, they said this, Harbaugh has gone radio silent and that he's not really talking to anybody in the building. It's likely he leaves for the Raiders and, or the Giants. 
And I think this is important. And all the facts of this source's story lines up. He currently works in California where Aiden Hutchinson is training for the NFL draft at the Old Mamba Academy. And this source's really good friend is, is a trainer at the Mamba Academy. He then sent Hutchinson to the source's job. They chatted, and that's where he got this info. Look, the hardball rumors are going to continue to pop up until he comes out and says, I'm returning as the Michigan football head coach, or he accepts the job, whether that's with the Giants or the Las Vegas Raiders. This is something that we will continue to closely monitor for the New York Giants. And I want to know where all you guys have to stand on this one. We've been talking a lot of hardball on the channel, and I think it's important because he is the number one most qualified candidate. I think he would be the best man for the job, but sound off for me. Think Jim Harbaugh is interested in the Giants' job. Type I for interested or type NI for not interested. If Harbaugh is interested in being the next New York Giants head coach, if the Jumbo Elliott stories are true, if the Chat Sports Sources stories are true, give this man a blank check. He is the best candidate during this head coaching vacancy that I think would be the number one guy, my opinion, at the top of the board to be the Giants' next head coach. Harbaugh, he has considered a return to the NFL the past couple seasons, but there really wasn't much substance around it. And he's come out in the past, in the past couple years, and shot those rumors down. So far this offseason and this NFL head coaching cycle, he has not done that. Harbaugh, what he did with the San Francisco 49ers, the turnaround he had when he took over that job as one of the most impressive coaching jobs in NFL history. They didn't make the playoffs since 2002. And when he took over, they made it to three straight NFC championship games. And the things that he did with Alex Smith, who I think is a very similar comp to Daniel Jones, cannot be understated. He didn't make Alex Smith one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but he made it a, him a competent quarterback, and he built an offense around him that had, could, could have sustained success. And I think he could do the same with Daniel Jones if he, Harbaugh decides that uh, Daniel Jones is the guy that he wants to roll with if he is the next Giants head coach. He's also been linked to the Raiders and Bears, but it's sounding like the Bears are out of the equation, and it's a two-horse race between the Giants and the Raiders. I want to see where all you guys stand on this one. Should the Giants hire Jim Harbaugh? We've been really vocal about it on this channel. He's my number one candidate, but I want to hear from you. Type HJ in the comments for hire Jim, or type BJ in the comments for bench Jim. And if you want to bet on the games this weekend and the NFL divisional round, you do it with our proud sportsbook partners, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and plug in the promo code chat125. And when you do those two things and you deposit $100 in your account, they'll match that $100 with a 125% deposit bonus. So you'll have 225 bones in your account to bet with. And you can bet on these games. This weekend, there's some really good games and a lot of good quarterbacks on display. And as a Giants fan, I'm going to be wishing that one of these guys were under center for the g -Man. Maybe you want to bet on the Titans and the Bengals. The Titans, they're three-point favorites. The over-under is 47. Or maybe you want to bet on discount double-check Aaron Rodgers. They're six-point favorites over the San Francisco 49ers. That over-under, 47 and a half. Then you can bet on Tom Brady. They're three-point favorites over Matt Stafford and OBJ and the Rams, and that over-under is 48.5. And the best game of the weekend, in my opinion, is the game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. Right now, the Chiefs are two-and-a-half-point favorites, and that over-under is 55. I would go over-under 50, over on the over-under and 55 against the Chiefs and the Bills. I think that one could be an absolute shootout. Now to get to some Giants GM news. Joe Shane and Ryan Poles have entered the second phase and have gotten second interviews to be the New York Giants general manager. Those will be in-person interviews. Rumors are coming out that Joe Shane is currently being interviewed today and Ryan Poles will be interviewed tomorrow. I want to give you some notes on what I have about these guys. Joe Shane, he learned under Brandon Bean, the current general manager for the Bills, and he started as a scout in Carolina in 2001. Moved his way up quickly into becoming a scouting assistant, then a combine scout, area scout until 27, 2007. And then he was hired by Brandon Bean 
to be with the Miami Dolphins as a national scout for five years. And then in 2013, he was the assistant director of college scouting. Then Ryan Poles. He's been with the Kansas City Chiefs for 12 seasons. One of the best organizations in the NFL. He's learned from some great people with them. He was a scouting assistant, up to, upgraded to a college scouting coordinator, then director of college scouting, and then an assistant director of player personnel. And then in 2021, he was upgraded to the executive director of player personnel. With these two guys entering phase two of the GM search, who do you want to hire? Pick one. Type RP for Ryan Poles or type JS for Joe Shane. When the Giants hire a GM, I'll be tweeting about it. And I'll be tweeting out our video here that we make at Chat Sports Giants Now. So hit me up on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. Give me a follow and send me a DM so I know you came from this video.